with your roster now. Um, where, where do you see Dwayne fitting in? And is this something that, you know, with, with Dion's injury and with some of the injuries to the perimeter players, that it was as much a basketball move as it was getting weight, getting Dwayne back to Miami? Well, once Dion went down, uh, we felt uh, a real need to, uh, to do something at that spot with the frontline player. Uh, the cost of a frontline player was too expensive for us from a standpoint and also from them asking for uh, our young players who we don't want to trade. So uh, whether or not, uh, I would probably say that, that, that Dwayne uh, will be coming off the bench to start um, and, you know, Josh will be at the three. I'm going to leave this up to Spo. He and I haven't really talked a lot about lineups. But uh, uh, I can assure you that... Uh, Joining the meeting. Eric Reed, Dwayne has done over the last couple of years, there's two things that he can still do from an offensive standpoint, is that he can get to the rim, he can make plays, and he can make shots. And uh, he has an uncanny ability to do that when the pressure is put on him, not a second or third option. Uh, that uh, he's going to have to gear himself up a little bit more to that situation, but uh, he still has a lot left in the tank, and, and I think he's very excited about that. So uh, I'm going to leave that up to Eric. I think it'll work it out, but right now, uh, with Dion out and with Dwayne back, uh, he's a perfect fit for our team. And uh, we've been uh, starting, uh, you know, Tyler there has done a great job for us. Uh, he hasn't been the same since his ankle injury. Um, you know, putting him in a starting role, uh, you know, has been has, has been a lot for him. I think he's done a great job, but uh, we get we get back to sort of somewhat of a normalcy if if in fact that changes. Any other questions, guys? Pat, it, it, it's Will Manso. I'm not sure if you answered the show. Will. I'll just get in late. Uh, do you anticipate Wayne being with the team tomorrow and possibly even playing? What's that now? Do you anticipate Wayne, Dwayne being with the team tomorrow and possibly even playing tomorrow? I uh, uh that he's in the air right now about who's playing and we expect him to play tomorrow night. Yes. Thank you. Come on, Dave. 
you just got on the line. You got to have something to say. <laughs> Sorry about that. I uh, got in here late, so I don't know what's been asked, Pat. Well, well how, can, oh. how can you ever get anything to write if uh, somebody isn't going to share it with you? <laughs> <laughs> Right here, let me turn it on. I'll turn my recorder back on and play it back for you. I record my own uh, press uh, to make sure that I have uh, exactly what Donovan has in his. Well, what do you envision what Dwayne's role on, the, on this roster here, Pat? If we knew what his role was for so many years, will that change now? No. I don't think it's going to change. Uh, I, I think all of us have to, you know, realize that he's not uh, uh, Dwayne Wade of 2006 uh, against Dallas, you know, but it, but he's also he's a facsimile of that. Played uh, in Chicago. The fact that he decided to come off the bench in Cleveland has uh, has uh, minimized and also limited his opportunity to do certain things that he's always been capable of doing. So I would imagine he, he would morph right back into the role um, of being a scorer, uh, you know, a frontline scorer for us, uh, a crunch time scorer for us, um, you know, a defender on the ball in neat situations. Uh, if you just take a look at his numbers uh, across the board, uh, you know, I go back to the old school plus minus and how I would rate guys. Now he rates... Uh, uh, with us uh, on our plus minus as the 12th best two-way guard in the league, and uh, in the new, you know, contemporary modern day analytic plus minus, he's 15th and 16th. So uh, he can still play, and he can play in a lot of different areas. Uh, getting to the rim, uh, getting to the free throw line, uh, you know, creating plays for bigs, uh, making sure that. Uh, Shooters get shots, you know, uh, with the ball right on their hands. Uh, he's still great in the open court. And uh, there's something about Dwayne at the end of games that is unique and special. I don't think you lose that. And uh, and uh, I think over the next couple of weeks, as he gets reindoctrinated back into our system, uh, gets himself back into that kind of condition uh, mentally and physically that he may be, you know, he may be a go-to guy for us, you know, at the end of the game. We got Gord, you know, we got Josh, we've got a lot of guys that have been doing that over the last year and a half, but once he conditions himself to get back to that kind of responsibility, uh, he's got to condition his body first in his game. Uh, and so uh, I think over the next couple of weeks, uh, you know, it's like riding a bicycle. You know, you put some pressure on a guy and he'll know what to do. Thank you. Thank you. We're back to Wayne County, okay? <laughs> Got a headline right there. See ya. See you tomorrow night. Hey, Pat.